welcome back to Desynced with me, Judy. In our last episode, well, we got a little bit sidetracked. Just a touch sidetracked with blight. An awful lot of blight. I wanted to make sure any resources we had to deal with were set up with infinite supplies, which we did. We thoroughly did. What we didn't get around to is we didn't get around to research. I want to get more research done. I want to get the human tech in unlocked. In fact, today, that's going to be the first thing we're going to be doing, unlocking a couple of decks of the human tree, because that's going to give us flying boss. And of course, flying bots are our answer all traffic jams. If you don't believe me, just check out the Jetsons. But before we get into unlocking that and probably actually also maybe finishing off the robot tech tree as well, I need to ask a very important question. And that very important question is, of course, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. Not happy with the video. Didn't enjoy the video. Well, I'll tell you what, you can go watch the Jetsons instead. So, before I get sidetracked with absolutely anything, uh, I want to set up research. Uh, we're going to grab the matrix frames. The matrix frames are going to give us low density structures, which are going to be very, very important in just a minute. The long range radar, which I've commented before, it's fairly uh, pointless, in my opinion, my professional opinion, because it has a range of 40, whereas the internal radar has a range of, well, 30. Now, this is a large component, a medium component, medium component. So, not really impressed, uh, honestly. Uh, we also have the microscope. Microscopes are one of the things that we needed to put into the human research lab. So, I'm really hoping we can do something interesting with those. And, of course, it's going to unlock the human uh, human research, the human data cubes, the, the human research boxy things, which, uh, of course, we're going to need to continue on with the tech tree. From there, uh, the next thing I'd really like to unlock is shuttles. But, of course, that needs us to have low-density structures, which means I need to build low-density structures, which means we're going to have a sidetrack across to robot technology. Robot technology, we're going to unlock the Mach 5, the most powerful robot known to man. Well, the fastest one, at least. Uh, he has a movement speed of 5. Also, the 3x2, 1 large, 3 medium with 12 storage. Honestly, if you want mass storage, this is your building. This is your building to go to. Uh, so we're going to grab that. Also, at the same time, we're going to uh, unlock the power cell. The power cell gives us up, well, the, well, power cell, power cell. Uh, it is the little thing that we started off with all the way back at the start of the game that, well, powered us for, I don't know, quite some time, quite some time. So we can now make those, which is going to be possibly very handy. Also, I'll unlock the photon cannon, which has a range of 12, but only a damage of 20 per second. Whereas the current one has a, well, the current photon? No, laser? I don't know. Laser turret, laser turret, that's what it's called. Uh, has a range of 10, but it does have a damage of uh, damage per second of 45. Also, to unlock the internal and small speed module, which we can put in our robots to make them go faster. We might find a use for those, we might not. Whilst we wait for research to progress, uh, can I park you two beside one another? Can I also give you one of them with a uh, virus, virus, virus? Uh, 20 of those, uh, 10 of those, and that can go in there. Uh, what else do we normally need to unlock human things? 10 of those, and we'll grab 10 of those. Yeah, yeah, that'll do us. And I also noticed that we are out of our aluminium. Uh, can I set you, fix all slots to an item, you, change you to that. I said, I said I get sidetracked. Uh, can I get you to store here and go to here? Uh, yeah, because we're not bringing in... Well, we are currently. Uh, but I'm worried about long-term bringing in uh, iron ore in here. Uh, laterite, I'm pretty confident. You, go away. You're a one to one. You're a one to five. Okay. Uh, but Laterite is literally right here. The drones can fly that across. Uh, so we'll lock you to Laterite so you don't accidentally overfill with iron. And same with that one. Well, do us. All right. Uh, so whilst we wait for research, there's a couple of things I can do. A couple of things I'm going to be doing. Uh, first off, no, combat teams. Combat teams. Uh, we have, well, our original combat team. Our original combat team with the original combat code. These being the combat cubs. The, the you're not a combat cub. You're a combat cub. Uh, the very, very slow combat cubs with a movement speed of two and the good old laser turret. They've worked well. They've worked well. Um, in fact, I've been out wandering around with these guys for quite some time. You literally just need to be powered up and then you're going to find that bug hole and you're gonna, they're going to go destroy it. They've been doing very good. Very good. Uh, but they're designed to work with a scout. And I haven't been using them with a scout for quite some time because, well, I wasn't happy with how the scout worked. Uh, it was, um, 
You are anyway, aren't you? You are anyway. Nope, you're... Well, yeah. You are anyway, but you're sort of not anyway. I wasn't happy with the... the, the, the... Let me, let me, let me add. Let me add. Let me go back five steps and let me add again. All right. Desynced is an early access, and the devs have done a wonderful job. There's been a, a bunch of updates. In fact, there's been a couple of updates that have actually changed some of the code that I've, or some of the behaviors I've been writing, and have caused me to re-release them a couple of days later with updated code. But uh, the scout, the scout, as you can see, the scout's been moved all the way over here, which is definitely in the black area. And in theory, he's run a scan, and in theory, he can't find anything that gets him in trouble. But the scouts, it's not an asynchronous, asynchronous command. So when the scout does his scout pass, yeah, okay. When the robot does the scouting maneuver, the distance that he moves is not a fixed amount. It is uh, determined mostly, it seems, by his movement speed. Yep. So if he moves really, really fast, it could be very, very far away. And I think you're about to die because I can see there's a bug hole right here. And before you run your scan and confirm there's a bug hole there, you could end up in trouble and then get yourself killed. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of my comments. Not really a complaint, but definitely a comment. Uh, can I get the other scout? So we've got a second scout for a second combat team because this is the Plasma Hounds. These are the improved versions, which we've had for a little while. They have uh, bigger and better shields that do, well, twice the damage mitigation. Also, they have the Plasma Turrets, which have a range of 12 with a damage per second of 25. Yeah, yeah, uh, bigger and better boys. Uh, and same story, they, well, they've run well, they've run well, but I've been running them around manually because after I gave the Hound Leader some increased internal invisibility, uh, visibility, not invisibility, visibility, uh, I could basically move them to the edge of the, well, the, 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 the Fogger Warp, the Fogger Warp, and he would just find things then anything within range, well, he'd send everybody else to go kill, which was sort of a better system. It was manual, which I wasn't happy about, but um, the scouts have a habit of dying. Yep. Yep. They have a habit of getting themselves far too much in far too much trouble and then um, dying. Also, there's no way. There was no way. There was no way. It has been improved. It has been updated. There is now a way, but previously there was not a way to target... The glitch bots, the glitch bots would not count as an enemy. So because they were not counting as an enemy, well, the robots wouldn't auto shoot at them. Hence why I had to constantly manually target a glitch bot, which was annoying and frustrating and sort of felt like a limitation of, well, the automation. It, it's been improved, it's been fixed now. And uh, we're gonna leave this combat team and the other combat team to possibly kill themselves, but hopefully take out some bugs at the same time. Because, well, they can. All right, uh, so we now have uh, research complete, matrix frames. We know how to produce lightweight, low density frames. We are very close to finding a new way of setting material resources, or finding a way of setting material resources up to the mothership. Humanity seems to have been deeply affected by this environment. They need to accelerate their fundamental scientific understanding in order to try and survive. We must follow in their path or will surely suffer their fate. Uh, the humans also seem to have trouble returning the planet's orbit. Oh, there we go. The scout died. Said it would happen. Said it would happen. Uh, Pardon's orbit, yeah. They're all little satellites, though, and once they better understood the blight, they're able to send them up through the atmosphere. We understand that this basic human production now and able to build their rocketry, but until... But now we must do research deeper and push this technology towards replicating this satellite technology. Okay, so we've unlocked the low-density frames, which I need to start building. Also, the long-range radar, the microscope, and the human research. Oh, well, human research data. Yep, uh, so... Mr. Scout died, and that's one of my complaints. That the scouting is moving too far and then gets themselves killed. And, well, it turns out there's an awful lot of bug holes and bug nests right here, which is probably a bad sign and probably going to cause some death. But yes, that was one of my complaints with, well, the code itself. And I, some people, like I said, have made a async scout command by manually programming in. But I'm not smart enough for that. Not even close. Uh, did you actually take damage? Oh, that's the other scout. That's the other scout's come across to help. Yeah, uh, that was the other thing. The scout doesn't really preference the blackness. It sort of just wanders around somewhat randomly. Did you find something? 
No, you didn't even find something. You're going back to base. Stop. I think you found something, but it's dead already. All right. Uh, we are taking damage. Oh, an invisible bug hole. They are the best type. All right. So, back to base. Uh, first thing we need to do is set up human data cubes, uh, which is going to be that one. And I want 250. Reason I want 250 is there's about 250 uh, total to finish off all the queue entirely. All right, uh, next thing I want to do is we needed to unlock and build the low density frames. Okay, so let's do the long range radar and the microscope. So long range radar is in here. It is a medium. Uh, we'll grab two of those and we'll run that bit of code. Uh, we're going to grab the microscope, which is intermediate. And I'm going to say 10 of those. I'm going to run that bit of code as well. Uh, you, we're going to manually set you to make microscopes. Uh, 10 of, uh, copy and paste. Now, unfortunately, they need low density frames, which I don't have. So we're going to manually set you to make not 66 of them, but 20 of them. Uh, 20 of them there and 20 of them there. Also, I don't need you guys making cubes anymore. Uh, we are going to be good on cube research because I have pre-stockpiled... Oh, you're making... You're making cubes as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hey, combat team. Yeah, combat team. All right. Uh, we have pre-stockpiled a whole bunch of them, so I shouldn't need to keep up with this production. So we're going to cancel that and make a whole bunch of those instead. Uh, yep, yeah, all of those, because I want them up and running now. Also, I have preemptively set up this little build. Uh, this little build is designed to be doing uh, the low density frames. Uh, copy. And lots of pasting. Lots of pasting to lots of different things. As I've mentioned before, uh, the humans, the human large buildings are a little bit difficult to build around. Because, well, the large building, the best option you have is the one by one to get the maximum amount of production. The catch is, well, it, it, it has no storage. Uh, I do need to set you to be low density frames done. Uh, you are gonna be low density frames too. Yep. And you'll be low density frames for the output. Uh, and once I've set that, your behavior will start working and you'll tell me we are 2% full. Cool. Uh, all right, so that's that up and running, but it does mean that I have a few of those. Oh, actually, I'm not using this build either. Well, uh, copy, paste, paste, paste. Cool. Just for now, just for now. All right, uh, that should be everything we need for now. We're going to get this research done, but whilst I do this, can I... I need microscopes. Uh, can I request in microscopes, 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 microscopes. Microscopes. Uh, ten of. And I have oh, one being built. That's not bad. That's a good start. That's a good start. It's a great start. Uh, oh, and it now also means I can make the power unit because that needed low density frames. And the battery. The battery also needs low density frames. Yeah, we've needed low density frames for a little while. Uh, Okay, oh, I've got five of them already. Okay, cool. I want to come down to the research lab. Uh, can I also... Whoop. That's an odd spot to park a scout. Yeah, this is the other thing. They're going to scout in the blight and they're possibly going to get themselves killed because now we can see in blight, we still get slowed down by the blight. Uh, where is that combat team? That combat team, can I get you guys to come the exact opposite direction the other one? Okay. Okay. Uh, also, also, uh, another minor little complaint. Minor little complaint. Uh, my foundation team. My foundation team, as you can see, is idle. Uh, the reason being is they announced in, I believe it was the last patch, uh, they made an improvement because there was a memory leak. In my opinion, as I kept losing 90 gig of RAM to desynced, a fairly large memory leak. Yeah. Uh, if you had foundations or buildings, that were not built and not in focus. As I had a couple of foundation teams out there that would go place foundation, I lost out all my RAM multiple times, which led to multiple recordings where I just had to stop everything, close desync and start again, 
which was a little bit frustrating, just a tiny bit frustrating as a content creator who, you know, literally uh, time wasted equals money lost. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, if you also still put in, still put in, I have already confirmed this one, unfortunately, uh, if you still put in too many buildings, you keep your RAM, you just lose your frames. Yeah, you lose your frames still. That's always handy. All right, uh, we have completed the first level, or first and, first and second? Power cell. Oh, almost finished, almost finished. All right, uh, we've completed uh, the robot tech, so we unlocked the internal speed module. Uh, can I get uh, two of those? I, I, I can't see myself making them. Uh, can I get the, what was the other one? the small speed module which will make a robot move 50 percent faster could be handy i just can't see myself using it uh the internal power cell that i can see myself using we're gonna ask for 10 of them i know i can't fit 10 of them but that's besides the point point. and there was also the bigger and better laser well the bigger and less better laser uh the photon cannon like i said range of 12 but the laser turret has a range of 10 with a damage per second of 45 compared to 20. Uh, maybe it has splash damage, I don't know. Uh, but I'd like 10 of those as well. All right, uh, go. Yep, that's all that code set up and running. Okay, all right. Uh, you are the anomaly. You can de the simulation and save humanity. Don't be persuaded by Higgs. If you have read the human logs, okay. you Didn't can see that the old civilization of humanity is just a memory now. Okay, uh, that gave us ultra tech framework. So unlocks quantum level robotic uh, technologies and units. Uh, so we can now make a bigger and better robot. Also, you. Uh, you're not getting deliveries. Ah, maybe that's what's required. Uh, scout, please, scout. Uh, so we have microscopes. Can I transfer that item? And we got some aluminum rods. That was really. Uh, can I put that on the ground? Uh, transfer that. Drop that on the ground. Pick back up my green circuits. Do you not? Did you not come with? Are those actually going to arrive? Uh, I want control center orders. Nope. Okay. Uh, back to you. Uh, can I request in uh, one of those? Plus one of those, plus one of those. Yes, because I still have uh, things I'd like to look at. All right, another research lab. Let's try another research lab. See if this one's any better. Scout. Uh, also, research-wise, so that needs low-density frames. Uh, I have 177. We're going to start uh, that research. Cool. Uh, transfer item. Yeah, uh, aluminium rods again. Cool. Uh, that can go into that robot. Robot, you are so lazy. What is your deal? Cancel. Transfer. Are you just broken, broken? Oh, it arrived. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so that gave me another lot of pretty much nothing. Uh, we have another research lab here, another research lab here. I think if none of these give me any success, we do need a data key. A data key would let us unlock more. But I was sort of hoping with the microscope I'd get something at least. Okay, fine. I, I, I give up. I, I, I've told somebody to pick it up. Maybe somebody will. Uh, can I... What am I supposed to click? That. No, uh, that. Yep, yeah, nobody's going to do it. Okay. Actually, that's my answer. Yeah. Okay, transfer item, and then the, the, the scout picks it up. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, go back to that one and clean that one out. All right. Uh, so, bigger and better robots, yes. Uh, confirmed. These should be arriving, but I don't like my chances. Because for some reason, the robots hate me. And... Take item, cancel item, can cancel, cancel orders. Take item, cancel orders. Take all. 
Oh my god, robot, you are so bugged. Cancel orders. Yep. Yep, yep. You've lost a unit. That would be my other scout. Yep. Uh, can I get that that scout to interface with that building then? Take all, you work fine. Only item transporters. Oh my god. The stupidest things. Uh, cancel all orders. Alright, can I try again? I want you one of those and one of those and one of those. Right. Alright. Uh, so we tried scanning some of those. We need data keys. Data keys, I believe, are another tech away at least. Yeah, and I definitely don't have uh, 90 of the human data cubes. i got 25 currently. They're going to take a minute or two. All right. Uh, you have lost a unit. Yep, that would be a dead scout. The leader is here, ready to rescue the day. But, um... Oh, the rest of the team is uh, stuck on the other side of the light. Yep. As soon as we stop the, the behaviors, they start uh, pathfinding around. Yep. Yeah, uh, the game is very interesting. I have thoroughly enjoyed Desync. I have already lost well over 200 hours in the game. There are definitely some uh, early access frustrations. Early access frustrations. They're getting there. They're getting there. Each patch uh, that comes out, I notice that uh, another one of my frustrations or two have been uh, patched out. And right at the moment, I'm looking for Glitchbot. Everybody out of his way. Here's the boss and he needs out. Go, 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 go. Uh, you. I want a Glitchbot. I want a Glitchbot. I have an experiment I wish to run on a Glitchbot. That's a glitch bot. Can I access the glitch bot without dealing with friends? Okay. Hey, you finally got your stuff delivered. Okay. I have three virus modules. Uh, okay. You guys are going to complain because it's technically an enemy, even though, yep, up until now, it's been improved. It's been fixed now. But up until now, I couldn't target it auto as an enemy because it wasn't actually an enemy. All right. I have a internal virus containment a virus cure and a virus protection and i'm hoping what i can do cancel that uh, i'm hoping what i can do is i can bring uh, you guys to stop behavior and move back i'm hoping what i can do is i can possibly try and cure a glitch bot I have no idea if this will work at all, but uh, it's worth a shot. All right, uh, back to home. All right, uh, so our scouts keep dying. Our scouts keep dying. Uh, and our scouts die for a number of reasons. One of them is their movement speed. So I'm going to try a hound scout, which is weird. Don't get me wrong. I know it's weird. I'm the first one to admit that. Uh, can I get a behavior controller, a radar? At the same time, you can have a best shield that we can possibly afford and shuttle technology excellent uh can i also give you i don't want you to shoot things i don't want you to be undefendable either so can i give you a small viral turret that way you're not likely to cause trouble and can i also give you a repair module because that seems like a good compromise. Uh, repair, repair, repair. That'll do. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to him. Uh, actually, can I half set up his friend? Uh, can I get a... One of them. Uh, I want... What? One of them. A behavior controller. And a... Uh, shuttles. Okay. So, uh, we now have allows the construction of long distance shuttles and related facilities. Okay. That gave us the landing pad, the shuttle bot, the flying bot, and the medium flyer package. Now, this is one I've been waiting for for quite some time. The first thing I want to do is I want to find these guys. These guys were making the transfer drones. Now, the transfer drones were great. Don't get me wrong. They were great. 
They had a range of 20. These ones are very different. Uh, they have a movement speed of 7, which is off the charts fast. But, but, there is a catch. Uh, that's it. That's really the only catch. Um, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Okay, uh, so I want to have those up and being built. Thank you. And I want to have a bunch of these. Now, these are going to require a whole bunch of resources. We have most of them, some of them. We'll hope we've got everything. Uh, at the same time, we unlocked the landing pad. The landing pad. I want to have five landing pads. Uh, so can we start on that? And you, I think I'm just going to hard code to ten. Okay, how is this being done? Uh, this is doing reasonably well. We can add some more production. There's 280 in there. Okay, cool. That means I can definitely steal some production. Uh, can I build there, 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 and there, and there? I'm just going to crank out 10 of them. Uh, you guys are slowly finishing off. Okay, all right. So, let's go to you. You. Uh, actually, that, was that everything? Uh, it was landing pad, the shuttle bot, which comes from a medium flyer package, and the flying bot. The flying bot! The flying bot! The flying bot. The all-important flying bot. I would like to get myself just a couple. Just a couple of flying bots, okay? Now, flying bots are awesome, all right? And horrible, all at the same time. You'll find that with a lot of the human technology, it's all, both awesome and crap at the same time. They have one internal storage slot and... Well, one internal slot and one storage. That's it. That's it. They also have a movement speed of four. Now, currently we've been using dashes. Dashes have been uh, serving as well. They have a small, small, that we uh, put a hat on them. Uh, either a solar cap or a top hat for, you know, a solar cell or a battery pack. And they have two internals with two storages. But you might notice as they uh, run around more often than not, uh, you, they only use one slot. They really, really only ever seem to use one slot. Now, you can program them to be smarter and use more slots at once, and that's not a bad idea, but it's putting programming on every single one of them, and the program we chose to put on was Roomba programming, because I wanted them to clean up after themselves. But that came with a catch, and it came, the cat, main catch being stupidity. Uh, can I get you, my flying robot, and my other flying robot? Uh, I don't have a control group one. You are my new control group one. Uh, okay. My new control group one. Okay. Roombas. Roombas. Roombas have been great. Okay, they've served us well. In fact, if I pause the game, because I have to do this, otherwise the game uh, poopies the bricks. Uh, I go to units. Yep. I have two, 4,800 buildings. Yep. I don't want to see those. I have 1,500 robots, but if I type in dash, which should get me every different type of dasher I have, uh, we can see that, well, there is 200 dashes. Now, some of them, as you can see, have icons, so they've been given special orders. You're a... Ah, you're one of the ones that's just moving stuff from A to B. Uh, technically, you've been replaced? Yes, you've been replaced with a transport bot. Uh, so, technically, you've been replaced. So, I have a couple that have been replaced that can be replaced, but, you know, you've just been sitting there, and that's been your job for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. I have 200 of them running around and they've served us well. They've served us well. They've cleaned up so much. They've built so many things. They've done a wonderful job. There is a catch though. Uh, and again, it comes down to uh, in desync, there are some things that you can't program for because the, you, you can, you can program for, but you can't program for. One of the things that you can't really program for currently is uh, can I access that or not? As you can see, I have a whole bunch of dashes right here and they all have the pick up items command. That's what they're sitting at because there's a tiny bit of crystal right there that they are trying their hardest to pick up. Except if I grab a building and hit the paste button with the power grid on and we hover around, we can see this is a plateau with no access up at all. At all. Done. Done. There's no way to get up there. Uh, so the good news is now I have flying robots. I can come up and pick up those three bits of crystal. And once they're gone, some robots disappear. Oh, look, isn't it great? Uh, can I get all of you off the grid? Mm, off the grid. And stop your behavior. And just park right there. Uh, we'll put the power pole back on the grid. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Yep, cool. Uh, stop, go. Cool. Oh, flying robots. So, uh, the good news is now I have flying robots. Uh, can I just throw that on the ground? 
Cool. I can now come to these plateaus and I can pick up the stuff that's up here that has been stopping so many robots from doing so many things. Can I get all of you and you and you and you and you and you and all of you hidden in there and you guys there. Uh, stop, turn off network and come here. I'll believe you. You are slightly different. You uh, can pick up uh, 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 stuff on the floor. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the other stuff. Uh, okay, dump that on the floor. Dump that on the floor. Because we still have Roombas. Roombas will come clean up uh, the stuff that we're dumping on the floor. Uh, but yes, there were bugs up here too. Uh, whoop. No, pick that back up. Uh, there were bugs up here too. I shot the bugs. The bugs would be dead. The bugs be dead a long time ago, but uh, the corpses have been up here the whole time, and our Roombas have been trying to pick up, well, the corpses that got dropped off. Also, with the corpses was the sand that the bugs leave behind. Yes, you can farm bugs for sand if you're really desperate. You've also got to get in there and pick up the sand without them uh, getting you and killing you. Uh, so, we can... Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Uh, can you come over here as well? So, uh, yes, yes, uh, we've had some stuck robots, and this is not my only set of stuck robots. This is just the con most convenient ones for me to know about, which means I'm going to have control group number one, which does have an internal slot. So I think because this is my, my personal group, this is going to be my personal group I'm going to use to move things around. Uh, in both their cases, I'm going to request in a internal storage and an internal storage, just so hopefully, well, that gives me two inventory slots to do things with. As for this lot, uh, without you, without you, uh, we're gonna bring them all home. It's right about here. Uh, we're also gonna give them the, a very important, I need to turn that off to get frames back. Uh, I need to turn on a very important signal, being this signal, because we're getting rid of them. We're getting rid of them. We're gonna be replacing every single one of our dashes, all 200 of them with uh, a brand new one. A, no, not a dumb idea. It's not a dumb idea. It is dashes, dashes, dashes. The flying Roomba. The flying Roomba. The flying Roomba. Uh, can I get 20 of them? And then copy, paste, 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 paste. Cool. Uh, the flying Roomba, if I go in here and I look at dashes under here, again, code will be available on my Discord. It is running the Roomba code 1.3. Which means literally all they're going to do is they're going to replace all our Roombas that are driving around. The difference is they can't get stuck. They can't get stuck places uh, because, well, they can fly. Uh, and it also means all these dashes are going to be scrapped and replaced. Yes. Also, all the rest of the dashes when I find them. Uh, actually, where was that one? That one could also go away. Uh, I don't need you. Cool. All right. Uh, so Mr. Decombot, which is on his way across, walking through the blight, is going to pop across and, uh, fix that problem for us. All right. At the same time, uh, we're going to pop out a whole bunch of, uh, where are you guys? Oh, there you are. Uh, you and you. Uh, I have a couple of these personally that I can use to build things and move things around manually, which is great. Also, we should have some of these built. We do. Cool. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to set bigger and better robots. Bigger and better robots, bigger and better flying robots. And I'm going to put you right there because that should be very convenient and very, very close. I want to, uh, well, we have flying robots. We have uh, the Mark ones, the Mark ones, the little guys, the little drones. They move things around six tiles. Very handy, very good to get us up and running. Uh, but we've just got access to the landing pad, the landing pad with the other flying drones. Okay, so, uh, let's, let's start again. We have drones, we have drones. We have our T1 little drones. T1 little drones, which had that range of a six, which was, it was a nice, it was a nice. And then we got the bigger and better ones, the transfer drones, which had a range of 20, much bigger, much more suitable for larger logistics problems. And now we're going to be cranking out, uh, hopefully, oh, let me double check. Are you on network three? You are not on network three. Can I put you on network three? Can I put you on network three? And you, Network 3, and you, Network 3. Cool. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pumping out uh, a bunch, a bunch of uh, these new and improved drones. Actually, speaking of drones, can I get that built? And they're just waiting for us, human manufacturers. Aha. And can I also request in a behavior controller? 
cool. And my little drones, my little drones, which we can use to move things around. Keep coming to here. Now, these guys are not super fast. Their movement speed of four. It's better. Uh, load that in there, load that in there, load that in there. And fly directly to there. Uh, actually, can I get you guys to pick up a behavior control on the way? Nope, we don't have any. Uh, actually, storage. Yeah, we're going to be adding them into storage. Like an awful lot of them. Ah, uh, cool. Come here. Unless... No, one managed to get here. Okay. Uh, so, what I want to do... Paste... Uh, what I want to do is... I want to put flying robots in here. And we've brought some with us so I can demonstrate. Uh, where are my flying bots? One, two. Okay. My flying bots. My flying bots are going to come here and we're going to unload these guys. Now, these guys are slightly impressive. Slightly impressive and also work much more how you might expect a logistics network to work. Cool. Uh, can I throw you in there? And unfortunately, I have one storage, so we're going to unpack you. Now, when we unpack you, you're going to take off instantly. This is a shuttle bot. A shuttle bot that has two storage, no internals, no nothing. Also, no limit of range. Also, he moves at a range of uh, a speed of seven. And as you can see, he is taking some iron plate to the far side of the map to a stupid twin bot who has been sitting here requesting stuff for I don't know how long, who is possibly outside the logistics network because this power grid and this power grid ain't touching, which means technically they're two separate power grids. Cool. Uh, yep. All right, back to you guys. Uh, but what it means is I'm going to throw one of those in there and we're going to unpack you as well. And you are going to do the exact same. You're going to take off. Or you're going to probably bring the same guy green circuits. Okay. And we'll put the third one in then. And unpack you as well. And you are going to take him in power pole. Oh, isn't that nice of you? Okay. Uh, but it means I'm going to be updating my code to that, 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 and, uh, channel one, channel three, yep, and we're going to be pasting one of those there. And, highest priority construction site. Uh, as its location is, well, where it is, uh, you already had your energy on cubes that have been delivered. Your green circuits, I'm sort of surprised they haven't been delivered. You. No, they haven't been delivered. They haven't been up. Oh, they've been delivered now. Uh, so we're just waiting on the large pad and the behavior controller. Uh, one of you had a behavior controller. There, done. Drop. Cool. So we're just waiting on the large pad to be dropped off. Once that's dropped off, the code will auto start and it'll start requesting those flying drones. And our plan is, oh, there we go. It's being built. And you are currently running the code who is going to request in these and unpackage them. And basically, uh, should have this up and running in a couple of minutes, well, with flying drones in it. Uh, flying, well, flying medium flyer package, which is the transfer drone, which, like I said, are amazing. Uh, but what I want to do is, I think I want to put some... Well, technically you can put these anywhere, because that's the other thing. They don't have a range anymore. Um, you can literally put them anywhere on the map. Uh, because they're now universal. Because they don't have a range. You saw how far that other guy went. So you know what? I think I'm just going to stick to my original plan, which is, you may have noticed that we've left some gaps in our building blocks to fill with something. In my case, it's going to be these. Uh, you pace. So close. So close. So close. And yet so far. Uh, and there's four in stock because we are burning through them making these also making the new transfer drones, also making a whole bunch of flying bots, yes. And can I load in your combat, combat, scout, you, uh, and copy and paste, and, um, Okay, so I can go to there, and I can press home, 
and then I can link you to the scout. But I don't know where that is. Uh, magnet. It is all the way south. Okay, cool. Uh, hound all the way south. Uh, that is your leader. Cool. And that's the other one, which has a target, but I had to turn all these guys off. Uh, okay. And home, we can link you to a scout. Easy enough. Uh, except I didn't know where that team is. It's all the way to the right. And definitely no man's land. Uh, link to the leader. Cool. Uh, you should move forward and take that out. Can you change that to 17? 17 seems to be a better number. Right, uh, yeah, so that should give us two new combat scouts. They're going to be a little bit slower. Also have a little bit more health. Yep, so they should live for longer. Uh, as for research, I probably should have done the next research. Yeah, we'll come back for the next research. We'll come back for the next research in the next episode because I think I want a bunch of these guys up and running. Uh, in fact, I know I want a bunch of these guys up and running. Uh, because we have lots of products, we can see all this stuff got built pretty much instantly. Which is really nice. Uh, yeah. But also means that, um... Mm, I'm out of stock of those. Absolutely out of stock. Uh, yeah. Completely out of stock. Also, copy, paste. Also, probably want this build to be supersized. Yeah. Uh, no, that one. Yeah, we can still do a whole another row around the outside. Yeah, we want that one to be supersized still. Actually, large, large. I want a too large. There's no such thing as a too large. The best I can use is that. I might use a few of those. Uh, a ball. Uh, a ball. Uh, but I need to find every dasher on the map and, uh, well, turn them into scrap. So that's high on the list of things to do. Also, that's probably going to give me a whole bunch of batteries that I'll have to do something with. Also, as you can see, uh, they've been quite busy cleaning up uh, lots of dead bugs and putting in lots of power network. Yep. Yep. Uh, we've been a busy boy. But I need to leave this video here. Next episode, when we come back, well, we should be able to finish off the last of the robot tech. That's only 80 packs. Also, we can get the hacking tool. Data key. Data key. I want to get the data key. I want to get the data key up and running. Ooh, human science. I want to Ooh. 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 Yeah, we, we, we've got things to do in the next episode. But we will have to come back for the next episode to find out what those things are. As always, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, with all that said and done, I will see you in the very next video. All right, bye.